Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to show you how you can install Meteor on your Windows computer using the Meteor Windows Preview. So let's get going on that right now. So to get started, all we really need is to come to github.com and this URL is essentially too long for me to just read out. So I'm gonna put it in the description of the video and you can just grab it from there. But it's essentially preview of Meteor on Windows from the official Meteor repo. So if you Google preview of Meteor on Windows, chances are this will be the first thing that comes up. Or you can just click, uh, click the link in the description of the video. Now from here, all we really need to do is come to downloading the preview. The time of making this video, which is uh, in March here, we have February 9th version 0.1.7 is the latest version. So let's go ahead and click this install Windows Preview. It's going to download an EXE that we can then select and run. This is going to open a command prompt that's going to install Meteor for us. Okay, now that Meteor is completely installed, we can then go ahead and click any uh, key to exit uh, because it says we want to close this command prompt, of course, before we can use the command. So to get a new command prompt, I'm just going to come here uh, to the search bar. I'm just going to search for command, okay, command prompt. So I have a new window here. Now from our user directory here, I'm actually gonna run a Meteor create command. So just like we did in the other videos, I'm gonna type Meteor create, and then we can go ahead and type resolutions because that's the name of the application that we're making. So Meteor create resolutions. And sorry that the text size is so small, I'm not sure how you can bump up the text size on the command prompt on Windows here. If you know, please let me know and I uh, can make those improvements in later videos. So let's go ahead and click enter. And this is gonna go ahead and set up our Meteor application. Now we can change directories into resolutions by typing CD space resolutions. Now let's go ahead and run the Meteor command. So we can type Meteor just like that and it's going to access uh, firewalls sort of complaining you can allow access. Uh, but it's now telling us that our app is running at localhost uh, colon 3000. So let's go ahead and type localhost colon 3000. And as you can see, we now have Meteor up and running on Windows and it's totally working and we're not having to use Vagrant or anything like that. So. This is a great working example, however, it's still a preview, so there might be some things a little funky. If you're running into some problems, it's best to check the Meteor repo to see if uh, these issues have been determined by other people. So that way you can see if what you're running into is something that's a common issue that they're already know and working on. Once the full release is released, I'm going to make a new video updating this. However, in the meantime, you can check out the preview or we'll do another video on Vagrant in the future showing you how to get Meteor up and running on a Linux server using Vagrant and Windows. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.